is a jewel set in a beautiful alpine scenery since it is located in a very pretty part of Austria where the Alps meet the flatter hill region to the north with lots of lakes within easy reach. These days, Salzburg is the fourth largest city in Austria but it used to be the capital of an independent state from the early 14th century until 1805. The name Salzburg literally means salt fortress because it was founded on the wealth from salt mined from the neighboring mountains south of the city. During the Bronze Age, copper mining established Salzburg as a vital part of the Central European economy, although deposits of salt, which they fondly called white gold, came to be more valuable during the era of Celtic domination in Europe, now known as the Hallstatt culture, after the Salzburg town which left the greatest archaeological legacy among its peers. The heyday was in the 17th century when Salzburg was among the richest areas in Europe. Salzburg is most famous for being the birthplace of Johannes Chrysostomus, Wolfgangus, Theophilus, Mozart, or simply Wolfgang Mozart, and of course as the setting for the movie The Sound of Music. Speaking of that, check out our DIY Sound of Music tour on the link here. We started our tour of the Old Town by visiting Mozart's birthplace museum first. Unfortunately, filming or taking pictures in the main exhibit areas is strictly prohibited. As you can see, we only managed to snap a few pictures near the entrance, the ticket booth, and towards the exit. Devote at least a couple of hours if you really want to closely examine each object on display and read the descriptions or historical information meticulously posted on the walls. For those of you who are curious what it's like inside, just go to this website. You can choose German or English as you go browse the website. You can find the Mozart's birthplace here. And then you look for the pocket guide and you can actually download that as PDF so let's try to open one this pocket guide describes the rooms once occupied by the Mozart's family the exhibit areas display numerous interesting mementos including the young Mozart's violin portraits and original scores of his compositions Engaging exhibits introduces family members and their lives and explore Mozart's operatic works with costumes, set designs, and models and excerpts from his operas. One room is furnished as it would have been in his time. One story that struck me the most was that Mozart's older sister, Maria Anna, known as Nanerl, also had extraordinary talent. She performed and toured with her brother when they were both young. Some reports say she was even better than her little sibling and that Wolfgang actually idolized and learned from her. And that's all I can tell you about this museum. We were supposed to proceed to the Mozart's residence just across the river, but we ran out of time. Besides, we got distracted by the enticing aroma of roasted chestnut here at a square in front of the museum. After exploring this square, we can proceed to the next area of interest. Mozart's birthplace is located on the Ghetto de Gaze, Salzburg's most famous and busy shopping street. Ghetto de Gaze is without a doubt Salzburg's most attractive street with its high and narrow houses and romantic courtyards. A very noticeable landmark from here is the bell tower of the old city hall. The building was originally a burger house until the city purchased it in 1407 to use as a city hall and court of justice. 
It still contains government offices, but the mayor and city council now conduct business at Mirabel Palace. By the way, do not forget to check out the cozy Café Montsite, famous for its good coffee. Let us proceed to Mozart Platz. As the name suggests, Mozart Platz is a square dedicated to Salzburg's most famous resident. The square prominently features a statue of the composer, which was unveiled in 1842 in the presence of Mozart's sons. I suggest that you hang out for a few minutes on this elegant square. Take a good look at the perfectly coiffed, pensive looking Mozart up on a pedestal in bronze. Or you can enjoy the skating rink nearby. The other penguin there, I think, at the whole thing. I died, that is hilarious. The next place to check out is the Domplatz, where the imposing Salzburg Cathedral stands tall. The pale marble facade and large dome will command your attention. Gracefully crowned by a bulbous copper dome in twin spires, the dome stands out as a masterpiece of Baroque art. Bronze portals symbolizing faith, hope, and charity lead into the cathedral. This is where Mozart's parents were married in 1747 and the little Wolfgang was baptized in 1756. Mozart later composed sacred music here and was a cathedral organist. A few steps away is the impressive Dom Carte Salzburg. It is a cultural museum complex and relatively recent addition to the old town. The complex connects St. Peter's Abbey, the Archbishop's Cathedral, and the Archbishop's Palace. For the first time in 200 years, visitors can finally tour all of these magnificent buildings at once. Guests will see Baroque treasures in the Abbey, artifacts and curiosities in the cathedral museum, in the large and ornate organ in the cathedral, and beautiful works of art in the palace. As a cultural hub of the old town, Dom Cartier is simply not to be missed. If you want to know more about this place, just click on the link that I have posted on the description and it will lead you to this website. Here you can read about Dom Cartier, the location because it has a map in there. And then they have attached this little YouTube video which you can see here. I'm only going to show you a bit of it. That's pretty much the location. So just check out that link to know more. Now, as to the residence plats, it is the heart of Salzburg's old town. The west side is dominated by the residents, the east side by the new residents. Residence Square is home to what is considered Salzburg's most beautiful fountain. The residence fountain is decorated with horses, dolphins, giants, and is topped with
with a trident shooting a jet of water from a conch shell. The square is a popular place for watching concerts and live showings of sporting events. It also hosts Salzburg's Christmas market. In fact, when we were there, they were just starting to put up all the Christmas market booths or stalls. So it was a busy time. Residence Platz is also the place where the Nazis staged the book burning on April 30, 1938. It is commemorated by this plaque. Now, if you walk between the Cathedral Square and the Chapter Square, you will come across this very mysterious statue. It is actually the Pieta by Anna Kromi, a very famous Czech artist. Here in Salzburg, it is called Pieta, Coat of Peace, but in some other countries, it is known as Cloak of Conscience and Tolerance. The Cloak of Conscience is a combination of numerous depictions of a faceless figure hooded and shrouded in cloth. What is the complex meaning of an empty coat? In the hollow figure, observers may very well see death or the opposite, namely that which remains. The inscription on the base reads, the empty mantle as a symbol of that which survives us, the love we gave, the works we created, the suffering we bore. The empty cloak of conscience is this artist's most popular work, with other examples to be found in Prague, Athens, as well as Monaco. If you want to read more or find out the other works of this famous artist, I will put the link on the description so you can check out the website. On the south side of the cathedral, you will find the spacious Capital Platz or Chapter Square, which was once the site of the Cathedral Abbey where the high clergy resided. Today, the square's prominent attraction is an art piece called Sphera, a large golden sphere with a man perched on top. You can also find a big chessboard and a lot of horse-drawn carriages for you to enjoy. Around the corner is this collegiate church of the University of Salzburg. Built in 1707, the church is a masterpiece of Baroque architecture. It has been one of the old town's most prominent places of worship ever since. It was also here that Mozart's D minor mass K95 premiered in 1769. Salzburg's Old Town is overlooked by its key landmark, Hohen Salzburg Fortress. It is impossible to miss as it sits above the Altstadt. This medieval castle is the largest fully preserved fortress in Central Europe. The Hohen Salzburg was built in 1077 and it's so imposing that it has never been conquered by enemy troops. Inside the castle, visitors can find multiple towers, courtyards, a fortress, museum, and the medieval princess apartments. While the inside of the castle is beautiful, the views of Salzburg from the outside are also breathtaking. Extending right across the old town, the Salzach River, and to the snow-topped Bavarian Alps in the distance. Last but not the least is the Nonberg Abbey. It is a Benedictine monastery in Salzburg, founded circa 712 or 715 by St. Rupert of Salzburg. It is the oldest continuously existing nunnery in the German-speaking world. You will surely recognize this in the Sound of Music movie. So, to wrap it up, Salzburg's Altstadt is comprised of beautiful baroque style architecture spiked towers and fairy tales churches and monuments some of the oldest buildings in the alps have been preserved between its streets and it's no wonder that unesco named salzburg's alstad a 
World Cultural Heritage Site in 1997.